in uh, visual perception and, and the field of, of psychology, study of, of psychophysics, of perception, how we, how we see and how we perceive things, there's a phenomenon called field dependency, where different individuals, you know, you may be more field dependent or more field independent in your perception of your world. And, and that means uh, that, for example, one person standing in a scene looking at a, a hill in front of them will, will see the hill, will feel the, feel the, the slope and, and you know, can feel in their body uh, the energy it's going to take to walk up that hill. And another person will stand in the same spot looking at the same exact scene and it's as though it's a flat image and they don't get the, the dimensionality uh, and the, the effect on the body from that same visual input. Uh, and it happens in many, many different, shows up in many different ways. When we see it in testing, it, it relates to the remedies that you're testing, the energy patterns that you're testing. As you work with these energy patterns for different organs, for different types of stresses, for different remedies, they come into your field. Our, the, the field of the spirit, which is what the, the, the vessel, the holy grail that holds the, the consciousness, the mind, uh, it, it, it's super conducting. So it holds these uh, energy patterns, once it, once it has them, it can hold them indefinitely. So there's perfect memory, uh, not always perfect access to that memory, and that's where field dependency you know, makes a difference. What's in your field that's accessible, what's, what's, uh, you can recall and access in that moment, in that situation. So again, with more experience, we're feeding more data in, we're getting a better memory trace and, and maybe better, hopefully better uh, recall ability, better accessibility of that information and, and less field dependency in the, the, the immediate field of what you're thinking about or what's around you in your sensory environment, what's around you in your energetic uh, subconscious and unconscious uh, response field. Uh, so, so it's something that's interesting to look for. There's, there's times, you know, I, I notice myself when I'm testing, I have a certain routine, and so the, the, the energy patterns and flows that I normally flow through in that routine are what will tend to define my field dependency to, to the degree that I'm field dependent. But there's also times when I don't find anything in, in that field. I'm looking for, to identify maybe a source of stress on a particular layer, uh, one particular test came, comes to mind years ago. I was testing someone who's miles away here on the island and couldn't find it, couldn't find it. So I started pulling out boxes that were not in my normal field of awareness, but, but I knew there's something and something that I could identify somehow. My body was telling me that, but it didn't find it in the normal box after box of, of test files of, of uh, energy signals. And so go through boxes and boxes and finally find, oh, if you can feel there's, it's in, there's something in this box. Go through it, not, not looking and reading, it's all in German anyway, and f find the one that uh, can feel a response, pull it out and translate it. And it's like, huh, this doesn't even make sense for this client because of age. It's, it's you know, an, an unusual combination you wouldn't expect. And come to find out when, when uh, you know, we we found the remedy, it, said it, it doesn't really matter because we're just, it's just identifying the stress pattern, we're going to find a remedy, it's the remedy that matters. But in fact, that exact energy pattern was confirmed by the, the, the family at, at the end of the day when, when, uh, when they went home. So it, it's a reminder, that was I think the first time that I really had to, to sit and, and figure out what was going on with field dependency and field independency. That both are factors, you know, we both, we have both functions, and uh, so it will vary a bit, and it's uh, helpful to have that concept.